a startlingly high jobless rate for black Americans, next on your Labor Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. With unemployment near historic lows, there is much to celebrate among those who looked for full-time employment for so long after the Great Recession. And with President Trump taking to Twitter, announcing jobs, 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 one segment of our population remains left behind in the struggle for gainful employment. The unemployment figures for black Americans, as measured by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, fell to 6.8% in December, only to climb back to 7.7% in January. A number that would be sounding political alarm bells in Washington if it were for white workers. Studies are finding that despite good economic trends reversing the steep climb from inner city segregation, unequal school funding, and a long and gradual shift of higher paying jobs from the cities to the suburbs is proving elusive for many blacks. As well, studies show that hiring and pay discrimination continues. And according to Andre Perry of the Brookings Institute, blacks are still filling temporary positions or low-wage jobs that result in a flat level of income. In fact, in 2016, typical annual pay for a black person working in a full-time job stood at just under $40,000 compared to those of white people who earned $52,000 a year. Now, this problem has not been lost on the union and the Black Lives Matter movements in the South, where each group has found a synergy in new union organization drives in an effort to improve the lives of all working people. And as a union organizer recently told me, union contracts don't see color or gender. They just see workers. I'm Mark Harrison with your Labor Minute.